Okay, it's another beautiful-ish day here, and we're out cleaning the night burner again. I've taken the rear wheel out to clean it, and this is what the frame looks like around that area. That's where the chain's bashed against the super chrome and scratched it off. So I am probably going to have to go for a re-super chroming. Uh, I joined the Burner World forum the other day, and I was talking about my night burner, and one of the other users showed me a few pictures of his night burner that he'd restored it and it was absolutely beautiful and he'd had the he'd had the frame re-chromed before he got the super chrome redone and it was shining and it was absolutely beautiful to look at so I've been and as he said no half measures my chrome's all right but there's a few wee things a few wee issues with it uh, I was just wondering what should I do this is a question to all those of you who are in the know what should I do about that uh, it might not be showing up on the camera, but the chrome's scratched there. There's scratches in the chrome and it's started to rust a bit. So what am I to do about that? Should I, I mean, how would it look if that got super chromed over? Would I better? Would it be better just to strip down the frame and get a full re-chrome uh, as well as doing the super chrome? And here's the wheel that we cleaned the other day and the area of the frame that we cleaned with it and it's looking good and it's still got its wee plastic plugs on the end of the fork which is more than my super burner has and I'm still pretty pleased with myself on that shiny hub and I've seen a seat that is the correct seat so I'm going to try and buy that and I'm just going to clean up the frame clean the chain up a bit and clean the chain wheel first we're going to start with this wheel Okay, and we've got the rear wheel cleaned up, the hub's shiny, I've cleaned up the sprocket, I've poked around and got most of the dirt off it, and I've cleaned up the rims. I haven't done it in quite so much detail as I did with the front wheel, because I was kind of pushed for time. And I've cleaned up the chain wheel as well. I've got the chain wheel pretty clean. Uh, I know the chain looks a bit slack, I spent ages trying to get the adjustment just right and I took it for a wee ride after having got it nice and tight and then chain slack again so I'm going to call it quits for today and getting the chain organised will be tomorrow's job and I'll do something with the brakes. I moved one of the pads down a bit because it was rubbing the tyre and now the rear wheel spins a lot more freely. I think it might have also had something to do with nuts and that, and I finally discovered what these are, this little thing here, it's actually quite a clever device, it's to keep your wheel in at a good angle, so you've got that clamp going around the dropouts and, and that bit coming out like there, so as I said, chain's way too slack, that stuff like that that causes that scratching on the underside of the forks, <coughs> anyway wheels are now clean and while I'm on the topic of wheels I need to know something how should I get the wheels redone what is the red stuff on the wheels is it paint or what is it and uh, should I get it redone and is there any point in getting it redone because I like my night burner and chances are that even when it's restored it will still get ridden and not just be kept under lock and key and only taken out for showtime because I love this bike and it rides so nicely and I want to keep it as a rider but at the same time I want to smarten it up so should I just get the super chrome done and not bother about the wheels or what should I do? Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the progress. I'm enjoying working on this bike. It's a great bike and good quality because you know what lies behind this feather sticker saying Ruben Alcantara, Alcantara on it? There is a hair and head badge. Yes, a heron head badge, like a rally head badge, like there is on this bike as well. And that, of course, means that it is great quality, because when I bought this, all it needed was air in the tyres, a couple of adjustments, and off I went. No rebuilds or fancy mechanical work. It was still working beautifully. And that's a great thing about a quality bike like this and this. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.